Welcome to the Daily Word for the Anglican Communion. Thy kingdom come. Today's reading is from the first letter of Peter, chapter four, verse six. For this is the reason the gospel was preached, even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged according to human standards in regard to the body. But live according to God, in regard to the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Sometimes we make happen the very things we most want to avoid. One thing we often fear, and yet create for ourselves, is separation. We feel distant from those who are different from us. Those we consider other, we feel separated from those who have gone before. Sometimes we feel separated from God. Some people we think are beyond reach. Sometimes we feel beyond reach ourselves, consumed by darkness, loneliness, and fear. What a profound message then for us in this passage. Jesus descends into the darkness, into the places we fear most, to bring us out of death and into life. Those who are consumed by darkness hear the good news and are brought into the glorious light of God. Those who are dead are made alive to new lives, which witness to the miracles of God. Many people may be physically alive, but they are not truly living. There are those who live submerged by circumstances, situations, and anxieties. The gospel gives people new life. God turns dead ends into turning points, rejection into acceptance, death into new life. It says that no one is beyond redemption. There is no sin God doesn't forgive when repentance is true. Those whom we give up on, whom we consider past hope, God never stops searching for. When they are found, God celebrates. Rejoice with me! I have found my lost sheep. Luke fifteen verse six. The generosity of God overflows with such power that even death is swept away. Whilst we do not fully understand the mechanisms of salvation. We are encountered by the one who gives life to the dead. When people turn away, God welcomes. When we are tempted to judge, God calls us to love. When flesh inevitably dies, spirit lives. It is a call to live according to God's standards, rather than wither according to our own. Pray today for your five friends, the spirit of the one who crosses every boundary to bring the message of his love, might reach them. As you pray for your five people today, remember this: no one is beyond the presence and promise of God. Let's have a time of reflection. Christians are convicted sinners. Sensitive to the conflict between the flesh and the spiritual, however, we live in such a busy world that many are like walking dead. Jesus has repeatedly called to us that spiritual growth is more important than physical satisfaction. Reflect on your recent status: is it more inclined to the spiritual or the flesh? The salvation of the Lord is infinite, as the Scripture said. The gospel was proclaimed even to the dead. We firmly believe that the risen Lord can turn the dead into life, and that the world remain peaceful. Is there anything or anyone that has disappointed or frustrated you recently? Have you entrusted it to the Lord?
Let us pray. Almighty God, we live in a world where we struggle to make ends meet. We are tempted by the desires of the flesh and ignore our spiritual growth in you. Help us to always rely on you for spiritual renewal and that we can entrust all our sorrows and disappointments to you. Gracious Lord, we ask you to turn our despair into blessings. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.